हेलो हाँ यस हेलो हाँ हाँ अमूल हेलो अमूल यू आर नॉट ऑडिबल आई थिंक हेलो हाँ हाँ मी म्यूट के होता मटल ओके ओके ना ना तुझे आवाज ये चांगला सर ठीक है वी विल जस्ट स्टार्ट इन टू मिनिट्स वी विल वेट फॉर अदर्स दे विल जॉइन इन टू मिनिट्स ओके ओके नो प्रॉब्लम मजा आवाज देते ना क्लियर हो क्लियर तो है Rupesh also available. Yeah, yeah, yeah. प्रश्न आता सुरू कर हेलो प्रशांत दादा हेलो या 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 कैन यू प्लीज रिलीम युअर प्रोफाइल या या हेलो आई विल रिक्वेस्ट एवरीवन इफ युअर नेम इज नॉट देयर प्लीज रिलीम युअर प्रोफाइल सो इट विल बी इजी टू कंफर्म अमोल एंड रूपेश आर यू रेडी तैयार ओके रूपेश कैन यू स्विच ऑन योर रेडियो प्लीज यू आर द गेस्ट सॉरी आई एम आस्किंग टू स्विच ऑन वीडियो या जस्ट या या ओके तो शाल वी स्टार्ट या Let me let me present my screen. Okay. Let's one minute, one minute. I will introduce you, then you can uh, you can share. Okay. Yeah. 
ओके ओके कैन यू अनम्यूट यूर सेल्फ फॉर जस्ट अ मोमेंट आई विल स्टार्ट ओके ओके थैंक यू एम आई विजिबल रूपेश एंड अमोल या या ओके सो गुड इवनिंग एवरीबडी सो गुड इवनिंग एवरीबडी इट इज माई प्लेजर टू इंट्रोड्यूस रूपेश बावने एंड अमोल पाटिल हु आर द एल्युमिन ऑफ गोखले इंस्टिट्यूट ऑफ पॉलिटिक्स एंड इकोनॉमिक्स and also uh, i i i am glad to uh, introduce my super senior uh, rupesh bavne uh, he has my super senior in ferguson college and also uh, rupesh has completed his msc economics from the gokhale institute and politics economics pune and uh, currently he is, is working as an analyst in the idfc first bank mumbai and also our second guest speaker is uh, mr amol patil uh, he has also completed his masters in economics from gokhale institute and uh, currently he is working as a educate gadchurul fellow uh, which is the initiative of the niti commission uh, government of india so i will welcome both of you uh, in this today session and uh, i think today session is a very uh, like great initiative of eklavyas uh, to promoting the economic education at grassroots level and in the marginalized section of the society uh, as as a economic student i have experienced this uh, because of the Uh, lack of awareness and the lack of mentorship uh, most of the students don't show their courage uh, to enter into the field of economics uh, but uh, like people like us people like you and us uh, it is very essential to the entering in this field so uh, i will not take your uh, uh, that much time uh, i will request to rupesh please start your session okay you can start thank you Hello guys hope my screen is visible yeah yeah it is visible yes rupesh yeah so as you know gokhale institute of politics and economics is a premier institute uh, situated in pune just closer to ferguson college so uh, basically it was uh, earlier it was a, a part of rbi initiative and uh, from the, from our past our past before even the independence from that time it's it's looking after our indian economical system and budget budget and everything so basically uh, basically here uh, gokhale institute of politics provide us uh, various kind of uh, academic courses yeah amol you can go, go ahead with these courses okay uh प्रत्येक मध्य डिफरसिटी बेस्ट इकोनॉमिक्स आहे त्याच्यामध्ये आपण म्हटलं शेअर मार्केट म्हटलं किंवा ज्या फायनान्शियल इन्स्टिट्यूट आहेत तर ते काम करतं म्हणजे खूप चांगल्या प्रकारे अभ्यास होतो तो फायनान्शियल इकॉनॉमिक्स मध्ये आणि अग्री बिझनेस असा आहे की जे अग्रिकल्चर लाईक बिझनेसच्या मोड मध्ये हॅलो हॅलो सॉरी फॉर इंटरप्शन प्लीज हॅलो कॅन यू कंटिन्यू द सेशन इन इंग्लिश बिकॉज सम ऑफ ऑफ ऑडियन्स आर नॉट फाईन मराठी आय थिंक कॅन यू जस्ट ओके 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 नो प्रॉब्लेम ओके सिक्स सिक्स सेवन ब्रांचेस इज एम एस सी इकोनॉमिक्स इज अ फोर ब्रांच ऑफ फोर ब्रांच ऑफ इकोनॉमिक्स एंड सेकेंड इज अ एम एस सी फायनान्शियल इकोनॉमिक्स एम एस सी फायनान्शियल मोस्ट ऑफ मोस्ट ऑफ हायरिंग इन फायनान्शियल इन्स्टिट्यूट लाईक लाईक शेअर मार्केट्स वर एनिथिंग एज अ युजिबल ओके फायनान्शियल इकोनॉमिक्स इज अ ब्रांच अँड सेकंड इज अग्रिकल्चर बिझनेस अग्रिकल्चर Uh, business economics is a agriculture agriculture based uh, teaching uh, methods and research uh, relevant branch and fourth is international business economics and finance like international relevant uh, branch in a gib and fourth is a population studies and health economics is a this branch is uh, correlated health uh, health uh, economics regarding also 
आणि एम ए ब्रांच इज स्पेसिफिकली मराठी स्टुडंट्स अँड महाराष्ट्र कोटा बेस्ड ब्रांच इन गोखले अँड बी एस सी इज अ न्यू कोर्स इन राईट नाव वर्किंग ऑन ठीक आहे yeah so basically when we were studying in uh, ms economics there that time only these four courses were there uh, ms economics financial economics agri business and uh, international business Hello. economics yeah these uh, rest of these courses okay. that are newly started in gokul institute is ma economics bsc economics these has uh, this has been newly started uh, and and basically what they do that uh, msc economics and financial economics they mostly do focus on the economical uh, economics and financial background of the student and mostly uh, uh, they, their prime focus is on uh, pro- providing placement uh, means and anli- uh, for for placement in analytics and financial sectors yeah so so these are primarily what five two 3 4 so eight courses are there actually these yeah just to mute my screen as hand yeah yeah uh now coming to the entrance exam amar patil can you uh, explain a bit more about entrance exams uh, conducted for these courses बीएससी इकोनॉमिक्स एंट्रेंस पैटर्न है मतलब ऐसा है कि उसमें चार इशू है एप्टीट्यूड एंड मैथमेटिक्स है मैथमेटिक्स एंड एबिलिटी रीजनिंग है और थर्ड पार्ट है इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज का मतलब यहाँ पे जो रेडी किया है वो फोर्टी फोर्टी ट्वेंटी का पैटर्न है मतलब इतना कुछ डिफिकल्ट है ट्वेल्थ के बाद अपन बी एस सी इकोनॉमिक्स मतलब एंट्रेंस दे सकते हैं जी आई की नेक्स्ट या so basically for the bsc economics uh, these three sections are there aptitude uh, aptitude uh, aptitude in mathematical reasoning analytical and uh, ability reasoning and communication skills so uh, almost 100 uh, questions will be there uh, for bsc economics entrance exam and i think uh, uh, about 120 minutes you will get to solve this exam am i correct uh, amol here yeah so almost at uh, 120 minutes you will get to solve this exam and similarly for uh, msc and ma in economics uh, there also the pattern follows uh, more or less similar to what we we had looked in uh, look for bsc economics so there as well uh, they, these three sections are uh, there only in the third section you see understanding level and knowledge in economics so may, mostly here they are focusing on the economical uh, yeah, what was your background in economics that thing will be focused over here so uh, in earlier section you saw that analytical and mathematical skill were uh, primarily focused uh, for bsc economics and in msc economics and ma economics uh, this economy section was uh, uh, economy section will be primarily focused yeah and uh, Yes, Amol Patel. You can go ahead with the uh, important dates and date lines. Yes, yes. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, B C and M A is uh, uh, application deadline is a six June. मतलब after मतलब tomorrow the last date for B C M A M S C or all courses. Okay, and uh, exam date is nineteen June. Rupesh. Yeah. So. for uh, bsc economics uh, 19 june will be the uh, uh, ex- uh, 19 june with the last date no, not last date the exam date will be on 19 june for ma economics as well the 19 june is there so these are some uh, important uh, important dates which will be followed for uh, entrance exams you can get these all through brochures which were provided on uh, our gip website so these things you will be able to get from there okay. yeah now uh now coming to uh, now coming to the uh, 
internships and placement parts of the uh, placement part so what happened actually uh, whenever uh, whenever you uh, join the institute a uh, in about second or third semester they will they will tell you to join some kind of internships and gain uh, some kind of practical uh, knowledge through internships which may be in uh, data analytics sector or banking sector or whichever sector you like mostly people do join a uh, data analytics sectors banking sector and a uh, research sector yeah so people do look for internships in these uh, primarily these three sectors means uh, data analytics banking and uh, research yeah uh, so and when it comes to placement uh, most of the people they do get placement in data analytics only uh, do people do people go for research as well but most of the uh, most of the students uh, prefer for data analytics only and uh, and oh, and coming to the companies which do visit uh, uh, campus so mostly jp morgan uh, jp morgan cities uh, ct and uh, ct essential such companies they do come for analytics yes amol patil uh, can you go ahead with uh, uh, uh -huh. few more uh, most of government bodies like niti aayog and rbi rbi so uh, involved in placements means like government uh, exam are also preparing gip and teaching profession also good rupesh yeah so uh, even even some of our students are working in uh, social sectors and uh, government bodies as well uh, even uh, you know that uh, after studying economics uh, teaching profession uh, many many students they do look for teaching profession so you can even uh, get a job there as well but more but mostly the focus area will be the data analytics and the skill set will be developed according to that so what happened uh, when uh, uh, in in second semester uh, second semester summer uh, summer holidays they will they will let you let you choose internships so while i was in my second semester i had chosen for uh, yeah, institute of human development and there uh, there i did about 3 months internship and then after uh, i again did uh, few more internships in uh, for eight one gold foundation and a uh, few more in smart tree as well so uh, so mostly in your summer holidays you will be uh, you will be looking for internships and from third semester itself uh, placement will start and in third and semester third and fourth semester this uh, this phase of placements will go on and what what actually happens while while sitting for placement uh, there will be around three rounds so in the first round what happens uh, they they will shortlist you uh, based on your uh, based on your overall overall marks and you are scoring in um, common exam means not not in your 10 12th like uh, of course they do look for 10 12th marks as well but mostly they will be focus on your first semester uh, grades uh, first and second semester grades based on that they will short you for the uh, for the uh, play, for the placement uh, uh, placement aptitude test and then after uh, after shortlisting for the that exam then uh second round comes for the aptitude test they are uh, every company will be taking their uh, certain kind of aptitude test uh, based on their own parameters uh, so in second round that aptitude test happen and th in third round uh, they do take uh, apna interviews that can be uh, that can be even in interviews there, there can be two rounds uh, one can be for uh, hr round and second can be the technical one yeah in in my phase uh, what has happened um, uh, of course i i went through these two rounds like uh, shortlisting and aptitude test then after uh, i had two rounds uh, i had two rounds for uh, interview first one was uh, uh, first one was technical one and uh, second one was uh, hr one so uh, aptitude as you saw uh, uh, as you saw why uh, as you saw in, in our previous slide aptitude mostly will be covered uh, 
through these two sections only aptitude in mathematics and reasoning and ability again third one communication and english verbal uh, skills that will also be covered uh, while while sitting for uh, placement aptitude test but uh, but mostly their their focus area will be analytical reasoning and mathematical number crunching and in uh, interviews uh, and in interviews uh, their prime focus will be uh, on your uh, on your communication skill and your problem solving activities so mostly while sitting for interviews they do gives you some uh, some kind of uh, problem solving questions uh, like they will give you guesstimates uh, or some puzzles that kind of puzzles you open uh, in my case also they gave me uh, they gave me puzzles as well as guesstimates as well yeah uh, uh and while solving those puzzles and guesstimates they will not be looking for uh, only for your uh, final answers they they will also they will also be looking for how you actually reach to that point means uh, going to that final answer is not uh, what they were expecting they they will look how how step by step you move towards the answer they will look for the perspective you have chosen to to reach that answer so here uh, that perspective matters more than what was the final answer there yeah so that that things like uh, that things is about these uh, placement things and uh, coming to the skill set uh, what's required after uh, once you get placed somewhere or uh, for getting placed there uh, of course of uh, mathematical and number crunching skills are very important there uh, uh, while while being in second and third semester you also need to focus on some computer programming languages like uh, python or or sql like that uh, because of, because whenever you go actually to work uh, these uh, this python and uh, sql languages are widely used everywhere in data analytics so you need to at least have basic knowledge of these uh, uh, programming languages again the communication skills uh, here matters a lot um, and leadership qualities yeah yeah Mul, do you want to give some more advice here on skills no worry yeah noor no rupesh no yeah okay okay so guys other than that uh, uh the library there dhananjay gargil library is very rich in uh, in economics books there uh, because uh, it was established even before the uh, gokhale college so it has long history uh, of economical publications and um, other economical records uh, in in the right corner you see that banyan tree they are mostly uh, Uh, Gopal Krishna, uh, Gokhale, and uh, Gandhi ji, uh, su such uh, such big prominent uh, leaders used to discuss about uh, economical policies of India uh, in that pre-independence pre period. And still uh, today, as well, uh, many UTBT sections and uh, 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 idea sharing things happen uh, at this place only. So whenever you will be, if you join uh, Gokhale. there will be tremendous opportunities to to go for uh, such sessions like uh, utbt and um, utbt and, and this uh, ideas part there so many things will be published in their uh, yearly book as well w whatever the discussions happen whatever uh, uh, whatever uh, the problems india is currently facing such kind of problems uh, get discussed over there as well. Yeah, guys. Other than that, if you have any other question, you can go ahead and ask those. Uh, thank you, Rupesh and Amol, uh, for the such grateful session. And also, uh, Rupesh has provided his uh, like personal journey of placement, internships, and all over the academic journey at the JIP. Uh, so, I will request everybody those who have questions, uh, you can unmute yourself and ask the questions. Uh, otherwise, uh, we can take the questions which are in chat box or the YouTube live. Uh, if you have any questions those who are in uh, session they can ask by unmuting yourself
रुपेश देर इज वन क्वेश्चन ऑन यूट्यूब लाइव सो दे वेर आस्किंग व्हाट इज द कोर डिफरेंस बिटवीन द एम इकोनॉमिक्स एंड एम एस सी इकोनॉमिक्स कैन यू प्रोवाइड द लिटिल बिट इन साइट ऑन दी एम एस सी इकोनॉमिक्स एम एस सी इकोनॉमिक्स वॉज अ वेरी ओल्ड कोर्सेस गोइंग ऑन फ्रॉम बिगिनिंग सो इन एम एस सी इकोनॉमिक्स मोस्ट Uh, greatly they will be focusing on your uh, economical skills economical and analytical skills so their prime focus is like uh, providing you a uh, skill set for uh, analyzing and analyzing and number crunch for uh, doing the economic research and analysis in economics in ms economics but uh, i think uh, uh, only last year no 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 I, yeah Uh, only last year this ma economics course has started so their uh, their prime motive was to provide uh, uh, to provide this uh, mpsc upsc guidance there and yeah but but uh, so uh, so not not the prime the prime motive was uh, just for uh, this mpsc upsc guidance but uh, they are also they were they are providing you uh, business analytical skills and uh, business analysis course there as well so even the ma economics students can go for analytics and uh, analytics and analytics and banking skills there as well so not much difference over there only only there is uh, there is this basic difference like uh, msc economics was primarily focusing on analysis and apna uh, ma economics was uh, focused on Doing some government job in MSc and uh, MPSc and UPSc things. Yeah, but but while being in MA economics, you can go for analytics as well because they are also they do provide you a few courses to in business analytics as well. Okay, thank you, Rupesh. Uh, second question is there. Uh, why do most students choose the data analytics profile? Uh, is it due to the good package or something else? What is your opinion on it? yeah uh you yeah, are not only the good package uh, because uh, this 2 3 years you will be developing uh, uh me, most of the analytic skills while working uh, on economics projects or research things so that time you will develop some kind of passion towards analysis so of course uh, you will try to get that kind of job only and when that kind of jobs comes with uh, good packages uh, you would like to go with that only yeah even the packages and analysis things both do attract the such student so people do go with that uh, okay uh, so in chat box there was one questions which i had read some times before uh, so they were asking it is only work one week uh, like uh, remains for the exam so what will be your suggestion for last time sorry sorry uh, like one minute okay Uh, they are saying that one week left for the entrance test can you please give us suggestion for the exam okay in one week <laughs> actually yeah amon patil um one week doing everything is kind of difficult but yeah um there are yeah amon patil can you provide them some kind of uh, book list so they can prepare for uh, one week entrance exam preparation Uh, मुझे ऐसा लगता है कि जो मॉडल क्वेश्चन पेपर अवेलेबल से है और उसके हिसाब से थोड़ा देख ले तो भी, भी हो सकता है बहुत सारी चीजें मतलब बेसिक जो बैचलर डिग्री में इकोनॉमिक्स किया है जस्ट रिवीजन कर लिया तो भी बेनिफिशियल फॉर यू ऐसा हो सकता है yeah. और बाकी रीजनिंग और रीजनिंग के लेवल नॉट मच वेरी हार्ड इट इज अवल सो वट एक्चुअली in economics part mostly you saw that uh, around 50 50 marks uh, questions come from economics only and that is not something very different what you have studied in your bachelor's and 12th class economics so uh, mostly that part will only will be covered uh, uh, but the thing is you have to go a little beyond what was uh, covered in your bachelor's so most of the time i do see that in our bachelor's Uh, they do cover only theoretical and um, uh, that rule based uh, rule based economics but other than that you have to go for some uh, uh, conceptualized there as well yeah uh, so for uh, 
Yeah. So for uh, so th th that that comes with economics part and uh, coming to mathematical and uh, ability. Rupesh, you are on mute. Sorry. Sorry, sorry. Uh, I was I was mute. How long I was mute? <laughs> Can you just repeat the second, like second last minute? Okay, okay, okay. Sorry. Yeah. So, uh, so mostly this economics part uh, uh, will be enough if you have done uh, uh, if you have done good in your bachelor uh, economics in bachelor, and other than that, mathematical part. Uh, if you have done uh, if you have, if you had maths in your uh, 11, 12, even that kind of ma maths is good, uh, good enough. Yeah. So uh, for entrance examination, you don't have to do very, very some some kind of very different thing uh, not required. Only that a uh, bachelor bachelor economics thing and uh, general maths you can go ahead with that. Yeah, but be, but uh, considering keeping in mind that you just have one week, you also need to look for uh, some previous year question differs from there you will get pretty good idea about what actually they ask how which kind of question they do ask yeah because some uh, yeah from there you will get a pretty good idea about um, the question patterns they ask yes uh, thank you rupesh and uh, there was another questions i think so uh, what is the reason behind the uh, high fees of the Gokhale Institute rather than other universities? Yeah, it is yeah. a like little bit uh, institutional question, but if you have any idea or any like information about it, you can share with them. Yeah, uh, even I'm not sure why they are keep uh, rising these fees these days uh, because when we were in the Gokhale Institute, uh, for, uh, compared to that one, that uh, fees has just doubled. Uh, I think for these year around two lakh fees is there. That is insane for a uh, person coming from poor background. So, uh, but yes, uh, they because the kind of courses and intensiveness they do providing uh, uh, in the uh, in the institute that that is actually worth it. Uh, yeah. But but still, I do think that a two lakh is quite quite a big amount. And uh, but other than that, um, they do provide Kamba Shikwa Yojana. What what happens while while we were there? Uh, some of our students were not able to uh, pay that free uh, fees in one go. So they had provided another option uh, to pay through a uh, earn and learn scheme as well. So we paid some of the fees. Uh, uh, in the beginning and rest of the fees we were paying through uh, our airlines. Even that that thing you can go ahead. But yeah, I'm not really sure why they are they are arising these fees uh, in insane amount. Okay, uh, let me ask another question. Uh, anyway, we are uh, talking about the financial issues. Uh, yeah. So uh, one of our audience has questioned that uh, is there any scholarships which provided by institute or just they had an airline at all? Yeah, earn and learn is there. Uh, yeah, but uh, for other than that, uh, if you want to go for a few other scholarships, I think Shahu Mara scholarship is there and some, uh, even the Ekalave scholarship is there. Uh, means some different kind of Ekalave scholarship is there. Uh, some of our friend had applied for that one as well. Yeah, so you can go for some other scholarship, but uh, there is no uh, such kind of, uh, uh, Miss Primary Scholarship providing uh, inst institute don't provide that kind of scholarship there. You can uh, you can opt for some outside scholarship there. Uh, okay, okay, thank you. And uh, another question is that uh, uh, what is the cutoff of JIP and how many seats for the general students? So where they will get this information about the seats availability and the cutoff previous year cutoff? 
yeah about patel do you want to go ahead and this discussion every branch is a 40 seats available koi batata nahi matlab confirm nahi hota ki cut off kitna hai वैसे मतलब क्लैरिटी नहीं कर कटॉक के बारे में या बट सिर्फ रैंक डिसाइड होती है रैंक के हिसाब से बट मुझे लगता है कि सेवेंटी प्लस ही होता है सेवेंटी एटी प्लस या सो व्हाट हैपेंस एक्चुअली व्हाइल फिलिंग द फॉर्म यू विल बी ऑप्टिंग फॉर द कोर्स यू आर लुकिंग फॉर फाइनेंशियल इकोनॉमिक्स और एम इकोनॉमिक्स एंड बेस्ड ऑन दैट वेन एवर यू इज गिविंग द एग्जाम for every uh, every course they do look for first 40 students yeah so mostly those 40 student uh, will be around uh, 70 to 75 uh, more than that only around uh, i think 75 uh, among uh, in our time uh, 72 or 75 was cut off line as bro as as rupesh i think so 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 based on your ranking they will be shortlisting you so we cannot say about exact na exact cut off but yeah you have to get prepared around 75 to 80 okay uh, so anybody who has questions they can ask uh, by unmuting yourself oh my ana otherwise we are done with the questions which were in the youtube and chat box of zoom can i ask question Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can ask, please, Aman. Oh, I can ask question in Hindi. Yeah, yeah. You can ask in which any language. Our guests are fine with any language, I think. Both. Are, yeah. Oh, what? Uh, मतलब preparation कैसी करनी होती है इसमें actually? मतलब एक मतलब जो idea है क्या आपका कुछ मतलब preparation के बारे में? Uh, you are preparing for which course? Uh, MSc, MSc economics. Yeah. Yeah. Hello. So, uh, yeah, guys. So generally, uh, he here what we have provided that uh, mostly you need to focus on the economics things. Yeah. Uh, your conceptualizing thing will be there. So, uh, economics and mathematical, uh, mathematical ability. that will be uh, those will be the major sections of your question paper so mostly you need to focus on that one um, in economics part uh, uh, to, to get some conceptual understanding uh, you need to go with in micro you can go with halvarian and uh, in macro don bush or some uh, green also you can use for that uh, in math in mathematical ability uh, uh a simple that kind of uh, uh board questions or uh, speed question that kind of questions will be there so uh, mathematical aptitude is kind of general aptitude you will be looking for yeah yeah uh, amul patil uh, can you go ahead with uh-huh. uh, these part okay okay matlab mic jada jada matlab sab sada focus rehta hai micro pe और मतलब माइक्रो में हेलवेरियन बोल रहा है हेलवेरियन दैट इज गुड और बाकी जो इंटरनेशनल इकोनॉमिक्स हो मैक्रो हो और जो करंट रिसेंट चल रहा है जो इंडियन इकोनॉमी चल रहा है उसके बारे में मतलब पांच छह क्वेश्चन आते हैं हर बार और ऐसे देखे तो मतलब इकोनॉमिक्स को और मतलब अपना जो बैचलर डिग्री में हुआ है उसका भी रिविजन करे तो दैट इनफ और एप्टी मैथमेटिक्स में देखो थोड़ा अलजिब्रा और मैट्रिक्स का हर बार थोड़ा फोकस ज्यादा रहता है मतलब इंटरेस्ट अलजिब्रा और मैट्रिक्स का ज़्यादा थोड़ा फोकस रहता है और रीजनिंग देखे तो रीजनिंग लाइक मतलब वेरी बेसिक रीजनिंग मतलब बहुत इजी लैंग्वेज मतलब इजी रीजनिंग होती है बाकी सब चीजें मतलब ज्यादा डिफिकल्ट नहीं थे नहीं रहती इंटरनेशनल वाइज तो तूने मतलब आपने ऐसा करना चाहिए कि जो आपके बैचलर डिग्री में जो किया है उसका रिविजन करे और जो बेसिक यस चंद का बुक मिलता है रीजनिंग का उसका थोड़ा बेसिक बेसिक स्ट्रक्चर देख ले ट्रेन का इश्यू हो या सीरीज का इश्यू हो या कुछ बेसिक एज का मैटर हो उसके हिसाब से करे तो दैट्स इनफ ओके थैंक यू कैन आई लास्ट क्वेश्चन आस्क लास्ट क्वेश्चन ओके अभी जो एग्जाम पिछले दो साल में एग्जाम हो गई है वो सिक्सटी सिक्सटी मार्क्स मार्क्स थे हो गए और इस साल है हंड्रेड मार्क्स थे वो टू थाउजेंड नाइनटी के बराबर है 
तो दो दो क्वेश्चन पेपर है मेरे पास अभी 2020 और 21 के लेकिन 90 के नहीं है तो हाउ टू अप्रोच दैट yeah uh, see question uh, mostly what has happened that uh, e- even when the numbers has changed uh, there the part we are looking uh, what was there at our time and now mostly the sections they are covering are the same so only the numbers has changed this time so questions will be more or less uh, uh, coming through economics and aptitude the questions will be on similar kind of similar base only only this uh, questions and marks has changed but more or less their structure will be the same only because we are looking that uh, at our time and before that also when even the number of question and marks were different but the sections they were covering they were more or less same only okay thank you thank you sir what is the free fee structure sorry what is the fee structure sir can you repeat your question i am asking about fee fee admission fees okay admission fee admission fee amar patel please explain the fee structure Can you, can I share in Hindi? <laughs> okay. तो मुझे लगता है कि एम एस की जो ब्रांचेस है सिर्फ हेल्थ छोड़ के बाकी सब ब्रांचों की टू लाख के आसपास फीस है सिर्फ हेल्थ की जो है वो सेवेंटी थाउजेंड रुपीज है सेवेंटी थाउजेंड के आसपास और जो एम ए इकोनॉमिक्स है वो सिक्सटी टू थाउजेंड के आसपास है और जो फीस स्ट्रक्चर बोले तो आप उस मतलब उसमें भी ये कर सकते हैं कि पहली बार हाफ दे सकते हैं उसके बाद फुल मतलब ऐसे हाफ हाफ देके भी आप हम कर सकते हैं और ऐसे कि बैंक फैसिलिटी मतलब बैंक भी लोन देती है गोखले के नाम पे गोखले के हिसाब से अपन बोनाफाइड यूज करके लोन एजुकेशन लोन निकाल सकते हैं वैसे और ओके या अदर देन दैट देयर विल बी डिफरेंट चार्जेस फॉर हॉस्टल एंड मेस आई थिंक अराउंड 50 और 60000 विल बी फॉर हॉस्टल एंड मेस राइट अमर या but the kind of environment they do provide you in hostel and mess that will be completely different so uh uh you you will be enjoying the campus life there uh uh, uh the kind of uh, the kind of uh, that uh, or the it it provide to to uh, the open mess there people do you can go and play over uh mess and whenever uh, if you want to study you can study in open mess uh uh in, in open mess and even the teachers will be available in the campus so and it goes uh, around 200 meters away from the uh, college campus so keep moving to the campus and connecting there and also like in the public <laughs> Yes, Akash. We can go ahead. Hello. Uh, yeah, uh, I think we are done with all questions. Uh, I am requested to all participants, those who want to join the group. I have put it the link uh, in chat box. You can join for the further communication. Okay. If anybody still want to ask questions, they can ask. Sir, I have one question. Uh, uh, if I will take admission in a uh, GIP, then can I get uh, sufficient time to uh, uh, prepare for competitive exams? What is the timing for uh, for the college? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Actually, what was our experience that uh, we we are being in MSc Economics. uh we were completely consumed by that course because uh at the same time uh, we were looking for uh, uh developing our uh, uh mathematical analytical and computer programming skill at one time 
and uh, when we started doing that uh, in second semester internships and other things will be merged with that and in third semester uh, of course the placement will be there so while being in msc economics you will not get enough uh, i don't think uh, you will get enough time to uh, go with competitive exams but yes in uh, ma economics you surely you can get uh, that kind of opportunity over there because MA economics was basically planned for uh, uh, preparing for these competitive exams, and their basic motto was to uh, motto was to encourage a uh, competitive exams through MA economics only. So yeah, uh, through MA economics, you can surely go for competitive exams as well. Okay, so actually, I'm, uh, and this year, <laughs> yes, hello. Ah, uh, yeah. then this year also UPSC uh, selected as a UPSC as UPSC in Rohan Kadam right now this year. Yeah, yeah. economic student in J. F. Yeah, one of our student was uh, got selected for uh, uh, in UPSC this year. What was his name? Omkar Omkar Patil. Rohan Kadam. Rohan Kud, hey Rohan Kadam. Okay, okay. Yeah. Yes. So in economics, you uh, MA economics, you will get that opportunity. Yes. Any other question other than that? I don't think I, we have any other questions. So, if in, no one has questions, uh, we can the close session here. Uh, I would like to thanks to Mr. Amol Patil and Mr. Rupesh Bhavne uh, to give your such valuable time and provide us such valuable insightful thoughts on the entrance exams and preparation of the Gokhale Institute of Politics and Economics Pune. And it was a nice session and those who are missed this session, uh, you can see this session on YouTube channel of the Eklavi also. Uh, you can access it on YouTube channel. And those who are interested in GIP, those who are want to uh, attend exam in last, uh, next year also, they can join the group uh, for the further uh, notifications and all uh, updates. So again, Swans, uh, I would like to thanks both of you on the behalf of Eklavi. Uh, it was great pleasure to have a session with you. And yeah, thank you again. Yeah. We will close the session here. Thanks. Yes, yeah, sure. Thanks.